Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership. Three string cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had plans to do an entirely different lesson, and then Bonnie Raitt won Song of the Year with Just Like That. We have not on this channel touched Bonnie Raitt at all, really. And uh, that's an oversight on my part. So if you want to put in the comments what songs by Bonnie you want me to do lessons for, that's great. I would love to do that. Um, she is a tremendous songwriter and an even greater slide guitar player. She was my first musical love. I saw her when I was 12 or 13, and she was probably 18 or 19. And uh, it was amazing. She used to do free concerts on, on in parks in Washington, D.C., where I used to live. So it was just amazing. Um, she was there with Lowell George a lot, and uh, that was really fun. So anyway, so this is just like that. This is the Grammy Award-winning Song of the Year by the wonderful Bonnie Raitt. And it has three chords in it. I'm going to go through the first verse, and then we'll break down my picking pattern. We'll also break down what chords we're using and how I work around this. Um, also, I do have a companion video and the links down below in the show notes. So really, in those show notes are lots of information. So anyway, here we go. I watched him circle round the block And he finally stopped in my It took a while before he knocked Like all he had was time Excuse me man, maybe you can help The directions weren't quite clear I'm looking for Olivia Rand They said I might That is basically the entire song. What do we got going on? G, D, G. 42, 34, 24. Those are my gauges. These are electric guitar strings playing through a Roland Mini Cube, and it's my clean setting. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, um, I am on the uh, using this Roland Mini Cube, and I'll show you real fast right now. These are my settings. Pretty easy. I'm on the Brit Combo. Uh, my gain is almost zero. My tone is all the way up, and I'm using a little bit of reverb. And that's really all there is. So if you like that, you can get one of these. These kind of battery-operated amps are, are all over the place. Uh, Orange makes one. Lots of, lots of different companies make Blackstar. And they will get you this clean tone. And so that's what we're kind of looking for. I also rolled my volume back. Um, the hotter you hit the amplifier, the more distorted it gets. So roll your volume back until you start breaking up. So once you break up, you'll know it, and uh, then you back off a little bit. A couple of little things about your guitar and your amp working in synergy. So this song has three chords in it. The first chord is D. So I'm playing this 202. Two. It is a 7th fret bar chord. And you can play it as a 7th fret bar chord if you wanted to throughout this entire song. It also has a open G in it because we're in open G. That means it's just open and it has an A, which is a 2nd fret bar chord, 2-2-2, two, 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 so it's a cross like that. So if you play it this way, you can lay down on that A really easy, like so. So this is how I kind of maneuver. And if you're up here, you're just going to have to remember it's your third dot or third moon coming up, and that's your bar. Something about the D chord, a true D chord, is 7 7, 11. And this is where it comes in where I do the...
So that's where that comes in. This song is in tuned to a six string guitar tuned in open D or drop D or double drop D. I can't hear it that well. My ears aren't what they used to be. But that's what it's recorded in, and that's the her album version. And I wouldn't be surprised if it is in open D. Th that would be normal for her because she is a slide player, and that would make a lot of sense to me. So that doesn't matter to us, except that it is in D. And D gives us a wonderful open string here. So this... is really, really cool to play with during songs. You can see my finger down here using it. Anytime you change uh, a string within a chord or a note within a chord, accent that. That's why I'm playing it louder. That means accenting it so we're playing in D, you go to A, I watched him circle round the block, open G, finally stopped in mine, back to D. And, it, and then we play around a little bit, and then took a while, A, before he knocked, open G, like all he had was time. And this is where I come up to that 11th fret here and I just play off of the D because I have a D there and I have a D here. So D's. So I can go 11 on that high G string or that treble G string, nine, seven. That's how I play that second part. So, excuse me, ma'am, maybe you can help. The directions weren't A to the B. At that point in the song, so we're in D, excuse me, ma'am, maybe you can help. The directions weren't quite G. Just like this D, being a real D chord, so it is D, A, F sharp. A true G chord is G, D, B. <coughs> so I know that note works, and I can kind of walk up. You know, we talked about walking up up the fretboard or walking down the fretboard, ascending or descending just like a ladder, you know, with your, uh, your headstock on the ground and your box on the house, you are going up and down the ladder. I want you to think that way, ascending up the ladder, descending down the ladder, think that way. I can walk up so I can descend 11 9 7 2 4 I'm looking for Olivia and D G A D Lots of folk songs resolve the three chord way It's a standard way to resolve the parts of the song. Um, the chorus, just like that, just, just like that, your life could change. It's just chords, and you're just going to play with them. So just, just like, just like that, your life could change if I hadn't looked away. It's just A, open, D. My boy might still be with me now, he'd be 25 today. 
No knife can carve away the stain. No drink can drown regret. Open cheek. They say Jesus brings you peace and grace. And here we go with that boom, boom, boom. Okay, so that's how the song works, and that's like the folk process of songwriting. So if you wanted to dig into a little theory, this is one of those songs where the vocals start on the five chord. Then the four chord, then the one chord. It is a one, four, five, vocals start on the five. So uh, if you like that type of theory, it's easy to figure out. And you'll start seeing it in other songs in other keys. But that's how you play this tune. Um, I don't sing it as, as high as Bonnie does, but um, you can sing it nonetheless. It is really a fun song. If you wanted to, you could... could watch them circle round the block and it finally stopped at mine you could do all these extravagant little moves and that would be fun too so that's completely up to you my picking pattern this is hard to translate i'm using a pinch pattern with my bird finger and my thumb and i'm always going back to it so pinch So I'm going pinch, two, three, pinch, two, three, pinch, two, three, bass, pinch. Pinch, two, three, or I think of it as two, three, but it's really one, two, pinch. notes it's so fun this is a great song like i said please uh refer any songs you want to do by bonnie just put them in the comments because she's got like a jillion songs a jillion albums from all the way back when she had a uh, free bow as her uh, bass player who played uh, tuba all the way up to now i really like those old free bow days when she played with free bow so um check all that stuff out and just post it in the notes. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. Um, I promise we'll be back on track next week with uh, all of your uh, comments and everything about different lessons and songs. We'll be doing lots of cool stuff, more rock and roll than just folk, but we can do that too. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I wouldn't be here in this space without you. So thank you for everything you've done for me. Really appreciate it. See the companion video and uh, have fun playing three string Starbox guitar, man. This is just dynamite, right?